Have you noticed that there's, there's a whole bunch more black women on YouTube talking about living life on their own terms? Uh, and have you noticed that a lot of people seem to think that those black women are faking being happy? Let's talk about this really quickly. Okay, this is going to be a short one. I'd like to talk with you today about uh, whether or not we are faking being happy because I'm one of those women. I just made a video with career break coach Rashida Dow on our other YouTube channel, which is called Exodus Summit. Uh, we were in Mauritius. We were on an island, uh, living our dreams, drinking champagne. And the, there were a couple comments talking about, I love to see black women pretending to be happy. <laughs> so let's talk about whether or not we're faking it and why are so many people convinced that black women can't be happy on their own. Okay, that's what I want to talk about with you today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie Perry. I'm a house sitter. I'm the creator of House Sitter School and the co-creator of Exodus Summit. And I help black women take a sabbatical or career break. I help black women move abroad. I help black women bop around as a nomad, uh, all while embracing ease. If these things sound good to you, hit the subscribe button to my channel, please, so that you'll be notified when I post a video or when I go live. Right now I'm posting this video while I'm in Fiji. I'm celebrating my 50th birthday. Thank you, thank you. I'm in my little uh, suite in Fiji. It's been wonderful, okay? That's a view for you, okay? <laughs> uh, and so the happiness that I feel, uh, the joy, the peace that I feel is real and it's sincere. Um, now, today, but there was a time when I was faking being happy. But that faking being happy wasn't about me living life on my own terms. A lot of people think that. A lot of people think that once you start living for yourself, then you're faking being happy. When I was faking it was when I was still trying to measure myself by traditional standards, right? The standards that said I was supposed to be pursuing marriage, I was supposed to be pursuing black excellence, or that I was supposed to be pursuing um, being so proud of doing everything my, on my own and not needing help and not asking for help. When I was judging myself based on those standards, I was unhappy and I had, was faking being happy. You know, my late 30s was me looking at my life through that lens, right? Through the lens of black excellence and what that black excellence said I should be, through the lens of um, traditional relationships and marriage and whatever, whatever, traditional family, and saying, well, I've missed everything or I've messed up everything, and so now I need to fake being happy. But around the time I turned 40, I decided that I wanted to decide to figure out for myself what I wanted. I never actually decided for myself that I wanted a traditional marriage or a traditional family. I never decided for myself that I wanted black excellence. So maybe judging myself through those lenses was a big mistake. And maybe I need to start judging myself through the lens of what do I really want for myself and what am I working towards? What am I making progress on getting for myself? Once I did that, friend, <laughs> once I did that, the joy, the peace, the happiness, the satisfaction uh, became real. I didn't have to fake it. I didn't have to walk around my family pretending to be a happy person. I didn't have to go to work pretending that things are okay when I was just hanging on. I got it for myself inside and that came I want to say again that came from deciding for myself what I wanted for my life instead of judging myself based on the things that the outside said I was supposed to want okay so number one am I faking it no but I was and a lot of y'all are and it's probably because you're judging yourselves by somebody else's standard Okay, if there's any traditional standard out in the world that you have rejected, let me know if there's anything that you have set aside so that you don't have to fake being happy so that you can actually be happy. So let's, let's talk about why so many people are convinced when they see a black woman who has decided to live her life her way, right? Why are so many com people convinced that she's fake and being happy? People cannot, can, there are people out there who just cannot accept that you would be happy in a life that excludes them right whatever the them is right men <laughs> men can't understand why a woman would be happy without men uh super christian people can't understand why a woman would be happy without making christianity her all in all uh there are people who can't who will never understand that 
I don't think you have to justify. I'm not in the business of explaining myself to people. Uh, that's kind of new. But I've never been in the business of convincing people of things. I'm not a convincer of things, right? And so you don't have to convince people that you're happy just because they can't understand how you could be happy without them. <laughs> right? That's an M problem. That's not a U problem. They also think that black women in particular are not deserving of the things that we're feeling. The joy, the peace, the happiness, the luxury. Okay? There are a lot of people out there who do not think black women are deserving of these things. And so when they see black women having these things, they make it their business to dissect these things and try and figure out what's wrong with this picture. Maybe they don't even recognize that's what they're doing, but that's what they're doing. What's wrong with this picture? Look, there's some black women being happy. What's wrong with this picture? Let me figure out what's wrong with it. Not everybody likes black women. I don't know if you know this. There are some people who really internally, inside of themselves, can't stand black women. And so it's impossible for them to be happy that we're happy. But that's not our business. That's them. That's a them thing, okay? I, it, once you realize that you're deserving, it all goes back to you deciding for yourself what you want in your life. Once you realize that you're deserving, you're less uh, interested in what other people have to say. You're less focused on other people's reaction when you get the things that you want in your life. Getting what I want in my life, in my 40s and now 50s, I'm 50 now. Getting what I want in my life, it feels really good. And it also means that I don't, I don't have to at all be concerned with other people's reaction to it. I've surrounded myself with people who are on my side, who are on my team. I've built a community of people who love that I'm in love with my life. And I don't listen to the people who are like, oh, she must be fake and being happy. I don't have to listen to them. I don't have to be in community with them. And I don't have to hear what they say. I only heard this because I have a YouTube channel and, you know, you open the comments every now and then. <laughs> but, but, or I have three YouTube channels, right? I have two and a half, one that I share. And so every now and then you see some comments. But in my life, in my real life, right, in my daily life, I don't have community. I'm not in community with people who don't want me to be happy. And I'm, so that means I'm not in community with people who accuse me of faking being happy. I'm not in community with those people. I don't see them. They don't exist to me. <laughs> right? They might exist on the internet, but they don't exist to me. You can have that same community, all right? There are ways that we foster community. When you're a person like me who travels full time, there I have to be super intentional about fostering community. And so let's talk for just a second about ways to make sure that I have the community that I have to support me in being happy, right? So that I don't have to walk around faking being happy. One of those ways is that I've created a, a full group of people who, uh, I don't want to say cheer for me, but that's superficial. Love me, right? Who love me. This started on my YouTube channel. It started in the business that Rashida, and, uh, Rashida Dow and I grew together. Um, fostering community for yourself is easier than it's ever been now that we have the internet, now that we have YouTube, now that we have things like Zoom and Google Meet. You can actually face-to-face, screen-to-screen, meet with and talk to people as often as you want to who are on your side, right? Who are part of your community, your cheer squad, and who make sure that you're going after the things in your life that will make you happy and keep you happy instead of focusing on the things that the traditional standards that other people have told you to, to go after in your life. So I want to wrap this up by saying make sure that you get in community with people who are on your side. Get in community with people who have normalized the things that you're going after in your life and then talk to them often. Talk to them. Get on Zoom with them. Get on Google Meet with them. Uh, make sure that you're not out here living your life on your own, being the only person who wants you to be happy. Okay? I've linked to some resources in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button on the video if you liked it. <laughs> and then share this video with another black woman you know who is no longer going to fake being happy, who is going to go after the things in her life that she wants, who's going to take the time to find out what she wants and then pursue what she wants and then get a community with other people who also want those things. Share this video with her. I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.